Beauty Partners in, in Art. I am getting a little bit crafty now because I wanted to make a clock. Well, I already bought a clock. Here it is. I got two because they were on special. Very, very cheap. So, I got one. I took the mechanism off the back. So, I had to unscrew it. And I've got a trusty little screwdriver. So, there is the you sat back here and the hands were here i took them all off i just wanted to to share how i do this just in case you want to do something similar and um, so there's already a hole there so i blocked it with a bit of tape and i have to block that as well because i'm going to pour some resin over the top of this so i thought i've got a straw see that'll fit in there nicely and it'll stick to the bottom as the tapes there so i might just snip that a little bit and just put some tape around it to make it a bit bigger because at the moment uh, there's still room for the resin to get through so i have to build it up a bit oh no the sticky tape is so sticky Never mind, we'll just use this bit here. Cut that there. I'm using duct tape because that's a tape that I have at the moment, which is really great for um, getting resin off. Uh, here we go. So let's see if that's... Okay, so I need to have another little bit across there let's give that a go so sticky that should be perfect now okay oh dear it's a little bit small it's a bit tight now so shove it in there just screw it in oh no it's a bit too tight i want to be able to get it out a little bit easier so I'll find the end and oh my gosh that's really stuck isn't it okay should be perfect now okay. there we go okay so it's perfect I can move it it's, I'll stick it down so it doesn't move too much and um, yep there's movement there so I won't wait for it to, for the resin to um, set completely before I pull it out, just to make it easier. I want to be able to just go pop and it's out, okay? Right. Freestyle today. Totally freestyle. It's so I think. We, we don't know, do we? Especially with my painting. Okay, let's go. Let me just give this a very quick wipe with my lint-free cloth. To be sure, to be sure. And here we go. Oh, what to do? Um, I might just go. Okay, let's just do. Pretty transparent, so you can see the grains underneath. This is going to be a clock for my studio. So I want to make it interesting if possible. Oh, 
like I said, freestyle. I'm not even thinking. And that's the best way to create art. Thinking too much about what you're doing with this sort of thing will turn into something that your ego wants, not what your spirit wants. So I'm just going to allow my intuitive self to just totally zone out and just let this painting paint itself. And I am just an instrument. I'm just helping it do its thing. my fingers because I've got to grab that torch in a minute and then I'm going to put some white on there aren't you a pretty thing look at you was already pretty as it was Just tilting it a little bit because I want to get some of these to slide off the edge a bit. And I need. Sorry, sorry, I got my. Just breaking up those bits that it look a little bit rough because I want it to look nice and smooth and soft. So that's looking pretty nice. And there's not a lot of wastage here at all actually. Just 
I'm having to scrape a little bit of paint um, resin off the bottom to just paint the sides. Torch it a bit more. And some of this white. And add one more squirt of alcohol in there. Well, I've done a crazy thing with this one. Wow, that alcohol is still reacting over there. Alrighty, that is it now. I'm happy with it. Just a few more. Bubbles to pop. That's it. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. As I always do, and things are going to be moving as they are. See, with that alcohol, things are opening and changing. So, I will take you down in probably a couple of hours so you can see um, how it looks. Thanks so much for watching.